Dear friends, today I would like to introduce you Lodging Bench and some very specific details for your better result and effectiveness of using the bench. It's very important the leg who is down, maybe all of you know, all of you know, it's not have to touch, touch the gr ground because if the, the down leg touch the ground effectiveness is very very limited well let's continue you see my bench is over 70 centimeters because with the time uh, our legs are getting better our tendons are getting better and we will have a further benefits of using lodging bench. Now, something important. If you lie on the bench, I'm going to show you, and if you bend your leg, and if you bend your leg, here, if you bend your leg, and if you're not very good to stretch your knee, don't go with the hips up, don't go with these hips up. No, hips is down, Bend here, here bend, here bend, here bend your leg. You see, you see here, I have a different weight, different weight. I can put the weight, for example, 10, 15 kilograms on my feet. The first one, second one, third one. It's, it's depends on your condition, how far you are. And if, if you're okay, and if you don't have too much time, of course, you can put some more weight to be not so long on the lodging bench. Uh, you see, all of them, they're over 25, 30 kilograms. And one you put here as well. One you put here as well. Actually, the bench is made to maintain yourself. You don't need anybody to help you. Of course, you can have some weight for your hands as well. Yeah, because it's total stretching. Total stretching. Stretch your hands, stretch your leg, and down leg. And more effective is if you, if you, of course I'm not doing so long, more effective if the down leg is near the bread. And you see in my upper feet, very, very specific moment now yeah if you if you turn the feet a little bit inside you you work with meridians of kidney they are very important now it's winter time for kidney and urinary bladder meridian kidney spleen and liver if your feet is in the middle you work for Urinary bladder meridian. If your feet is outside, you work more for gallbladder meridian, for tummy meridian. That's why you have a lot of options, a lot of options, and uh, and also you stretch totally the body, and it's perfect way. And you you cannot have overdoses of this. Uh, stretching of lodging because this is passive this is not active you, you're not going to harm yourself anyway is after you are well stretched and you are on the on the level of your your pain effectiveness is always when you feel a pain which is affordable for you if it's too much, you do less pressure, you do less weight, for example. I, I told you one weight, I can show you with another here. Yeah, it's dependent on you, it's dependent on you. Put one more and more and more, depends on your condition. Always follow you. And if you want to know about the breathing, first of all, you have to follow your breathing. And second, you can breathe slowly. You see, I put a little bit more 
I can take some of the other weights for my hands as well. Yeah. Well, do you know that latching bench you can use for you can use of course for neck area, seven vertebra and shoulder. That's why we put your you know that you can work with another leg, it's the same. It's the same. And now I go a little bit back, a little bit back. First I take the weight out of my leg to be easier. And dear friends, if it's any question, if it's any specific you, you want to know, you're always welcome to ask through the, my channel, Facebook or website. Well, I go a little bit back and my head is out of the, of the bench and my hands are stretched. And then you can do lodging for the area of the shoulder and move slowly head to one side to another side. Well, well, well. I hope you enjoyed this introduction and um, if it's anything else we can continue. Thank you for watching. I think we, pre we describe everything about the watching bench. Bye bye for now. Thank you for watching.